In today's video, I'm going to show you how to send an email using Gmail in just a few simple steps. Let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to open any browser, Opera, Mozilla, etc., whatever you want, and type gmail.com. Or you can simply open the Google Chrome browser, if that is what you use, like in my case, and click on Gmail at the top right. If you're not already signed in, go ahead and log into your Google account using your username and password. Once you're logged in, you'll land on your inbox. At the top left corner, you'll see a button that says Compose, which means Create. Go ahead and click on that to start a new email. Now, you'll see a new window pop up on the right side of your screen. This is where you'll write your email. The first thing you'll need to do is add the recipient's email address in the To field. Just type in their email address here. Make sure you double check the spelling of the email address to avoid sending it to the wrong person. It happened to me. You can type multiple addresses here if you're sending the email to more than one person. If you have people saved in your contacts, it's super easy to add them to your email. Just click the To field and Gmail will show suggestions from your contact list. You can click on a name to quickly add them as a recipient. Now, let's talk about CC and BCC. CC stands for Carbon Copy. When you add someone to the CC field, they get a copy of the email, and everyone else on the email can see that they're included. Then there's BCC, which stands for Blind Carbon Copy. This is useful when you want to send an email to multiple recipients, but keep their email addresses private. People in the BCC field can't see who else received the email. Next, add a subject line in the subject field. This is where you summarize what your email is about so your recipient knows right away. For example, what to bring to the party. Keep it short and clear. Now, let's move to the body of the email. This is where you'll type your message. Write whatever you need to say, just like you would in any other email. If you want to format your text, like making something bold or adding a list, just use the options at the bottom of the Compose window. If you need to attach any files, like a document or a photo, click the paperclip icon at the bottom of the Compose window. Select the file from your computer and it'll be attached to the email. And don't forget to add your signature. This is a small but important detail. You can set up an automatic signature that includes your name, title, and contact details, like this. To add a signature, simply go to your email settings. I will need to minimize the Email Composition tab so that I can show you how to add signature and find the Signature section. This way, it'll automatically appear at the bottom of all your emails, and possibly not in that case, but for your next email. Once you've finished composing your email and you're ready to send it, simply click the blue Send button at the bottom of the window, and that's it. You've just sent an email using Gmail. Your recipient will receive it almost instantly.